Hello there. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. These are the words of Leo Tolstoy, a Russian writer who is regarded as one of the greatest authors of all time. Change is inevitable, both at an individual level and at the level of society. Also, change can be uncomfortable, but it is good to know that you and I can make a lot of progress in our lives by making small changes to what we do and how we do things. Are there areas in your life in which you desire growth and progress? Take a pen and paper and write down what you know to do to trigger change in those areas. And most importantly, take action. Paul in 2 Corinthians 5.17 talks about the greatest change that can happen in a person's life. He said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. Christ offers you newness of life today in every area of your life, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Why don't you take advantage of this opportunity while it still exists? After all, Jack Welch, who was the chairman and CEO of General Electric, once said, change before you have to. And on that note, I welcome you to Practical Reflections, a series powered by Logos Aflame Ministries. My name is Ella Ekins, your host on today's podcast. And as always, I bring special greetings from the senior pastor and founder of the Logos Aflame Ministries, Pastor Grace Obi Johnson. The Lamb Daily Devotional for April to June is still available. You can get yours on Amazon, Okada Books and Bam Books and it's coming to a bookstore near you. Also, an audio version of the devotional is uploaded daily for you to listen to on the go. If you love the content on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. You're welcome to join our community of people who love the scriptures and are striving to achieve greatness in today's world through God's word. Last week, we looked at the concept of cultivating discipline and we said that the desire for an attractive or compelling outcome can be a driver of self-discipline. Were you able to articulate your compelling desire or goal? I encourage you to take that step towards your physical, emotional, financial, and spiritual aspirations. And in this regard, one important discipline that you should keep pursuing is reading your Bible on a daily basis. Are you making progress on this? Let me know. Moving on to our discussion for today, we are reviewing our Bible readings for the 19th of May to the 26th of May. In the Old Testament, we read 1 Samuel 24 to 2 Samuel 9. In our readings, we see how David saved Saul's life, but not just once, but twice. The first time was in a cave and also in another instance when David and Abishai went straight into Saul's camp and found him asleep. What would you have done if you were in David's shoes? Hmm. Anyway, in our readings, we also see Saul being confronted with the fear of the Philistines, caving to that fear to consult a medium. That was arguably Saul's biggest mistake as God expressly forbade this act. Please read Leviticus 19.3. Ultimately, in our readings, in 2 Samuel, we also see the events that led to David being anointed the king of Judah and later on the whole of Israel in 2 Samuel chapter 7. David's deep desire to build the Lord a house to honor God triggered the Lord to make a covenant promise to him, which secured his throne forever. And of course, we read about the unfortunate story of David and Bathsheba, a taint in the story of David, which shows us that we should never be complacent, but always alert to avoid sin. In the New Testament, we read John chapter 10 to John chapter 15. In our readings, we see Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. We also read about the plot by the Jewish leaders to kill Jesus and the role played by Caiaphas, the high priest at the time, in instigating this plan. We also read about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem and the washing of his disciples' feet in John 13, emphasizing the concept of servant leadership. I would like to mention the words of Jesus, which shows that God places premium on obedience. In John 14, 23, Jesus said, All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come and make our home with each of them. Amazing, isn't it? Just imagine for a few seconds the Godhead making home with you. You and I can enjoy this experience through obedience. Repeating the words of Jesus, All who love me will do what I say. 
Is there any area of your life in which you are living in disobedience to God's word? Take out time to carry out some self-reflection. Someone once said that true courageous reflection galvanizes us towards self-discipline, the discipline that leads to obedience, being careful to do all that is written in the scriptures. This is worthy of pursuit. That's it for this edition. I trust you have enjoyed our discussion today. Please remember to keep reading your Bible on a daily basis. Also, we would love to hear from you. Please put in the comment section any of the Bible readings or devotional texts that have blessed you or your various experiences from putting God's word into practice. Till next week, keep creating love and passion for God's word. God bless.